In this video, we will be comparing two different methods to teach a large language model how to become an expert in a new domain with new knowledge. The most common approach used by the industry right now is called RAG, which stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. To explain RAG simply, you retrieve the correct context, in this case, your domain data or knowledge, and you provide it to the large language model along with user interaction, such as a question. And then you let the LLM respond. The other method, which I think will become the industry standard in the not so distant future, is called fine tuning. Unfortunately, fine tuning gets a bad rap for a few good reasons and a few not so good reasons. Reason one, fine tuning is complicated. There are a lot of variables involved in fine tuning, and if you get one of them wrong, the end result can be a disaster, which discourages most people from even trying. Reason two, you need high quality training data. This is only true if you write the training data yourself manually. But if you use synthetic data generators, the whole process can be fully automated. If you stay tuned till the end of the video, I could showcase you a new tool that will make the whole fine tuning process very easy. With that being said, let's begin the demonstration. On the left side of the screen is the RAG method. The way I have it set up simply is that I've already injected the context, in this case the readme file, for a GitHub repository called Colo. And at the bottom, I put the user question for the LLM to respond to. I'm using the Llama 8 billion parameter model. On the right hand side, I have a large language model called Colo Tool, which is really just a fine tuned 8 billion parameter Llama model. It does not need to be prompted as all the domain knowledge was trained into the large language model itself. This keeps it lightweight and does not have to rely on a RAG system to always fetch the correct context each time a user interacts with it. For test number two, we'll be asking a more specific question about one of the PowerShell scripts in Colo called delete model, and ask the LLM what the full directory path is when it deletes the model file. In the left hand side, I have given the RAG system the entire PowerShell script so that it can reference and give the correct answer. And for the fine tune model, again, I do not have to inject any context because the large language model was already trained on the file's contents. It only needs the question to give the correct answer. For our last test, we will make it more difficult. Let's ask both large language models to compare the difference between two separate scripts, the un uninstall model and the delete model. For the RAG system, I will give both file contents so that it can simulate how RAG would hopefully fetch both contexts of both files before responding to the user. On the right hand side, again, we do not need to prompt the large language model as it has already been trained on all the data. Well, as you can see, with all three scenarios, the fine tune model seems to give a more thorough and clearer response than RAG does. This is because a fine tune model through training can give the LLM a better and deeper understanding of all the domain knowledge you train it on. A RAG system, however, is limited on the amount of context that you can feed it. It has a longer latency due to the fact that it has to retrieve the context and has the possibility of failing to fetch the correct context in more complex scenarios. If this video has motivated you to want to learn more, let me show you a new tool that will help you to start fine tuning very quickly. Colo is an all-in-one fine tuning tool. It takes you through the synthetic data generation process to fine tuning and to testing and gets you set up in minutes, not hours. We have a Docker file that will automatically install the best large language model tools that are publicly available. For fine tuning, we support Unsloth and TorchTune. For quantization, we use Llama CPP. And for testing, we use both Olama and OpenWebUI to provide you with a nice user interface. And for synthetic data generation, we have our own tool built inside that will let you generate synthetic QA training data with either OpenAI or your own local Olama model. We have a Discord group you can join for any issues you run into or any feedback you would like to share with us. The Colo README is extremely simple to get started. We take you through the journey of building a fine-tuned large language model that has the personality of God, and don't worry, we included the devil as well to balance things out. We walk you through the entire process and explain all the parameters available to you for you to experiment with. And if you are an advanced user, we provide you with the ability to SSH into the Docker container to modify or install whatever you want. And best of all, Colo is a free and open source tool for anyone to use. With that being said, that concludes our video, and I hope you give fine-tuning a shot. I think you'll be impressed.